Most people don't know that when you enable the stroke effect in a circle cropped photo, it causes an imperfection which makes your design less professional. This is what I mean. Look carefully and you would see how the circle crop image here is imperfect due to the stroke effect. Now take a look at this other one. I'll be showing you how to do this with Pixel Lab to get this exact result. If you notice now, this one is perfect even with the stroke effect. Now let's get to that. So I'm going to use this particular photo. You see, um, I activated the stroke. Oh, rather I enable the stroke effect here. Yeah, yeah, you see, but um, it's still having that. Um, you know, it's not perfect. So what you do, it's really, it's really simple. It's not going to take your time. All you have to do is to get a circle shape. Um, so you do this, and you want to change it since it's white. You want to change the color here so you be able to see it clearly. So I'm going to use this green here, and then um. You want to lock these as well. Um, so um, we have these. So what I'm going to do is go to this. Sorry, let's go into this edit now, and um, I'm going to do this. And also, sorry, you ensure that it's under the photo you are putting the stroke effect. Yeah, yeah. You're going to do this. Okay. You're going to ensure it's. Because you want to get the same thing. Yeah. You want to do this. Of course, you can always click here and then um, um, use this position to get it. Yeah. So, uh, once you do that, you remove this stroke effect. Now, um, you can um, do this. But then, the, the thing here is that you may not get the correct one like so what you do for me i'll say you use greed you use greed um you use greed so um you call me here and then um just in case just in case you don't know where that is let me show you so this is the, the um grid here this place here this place here and then um you click there and then you click this place here Click on this place here. So yeah. So you come here and then you set you set you can use any one you want, but say for this you use everything. So um, what you do now is um um what we are doing now is to ensure that they are uh, the same like um, the same point. So what you do now is activate this place, this place that looks like you. So you do this. Or you can do it here good then just lock this one and then do the circle too so there will be a same same place now. so you have this so let's see if this one is like this so you have this so you ensure that it's it's well placed and then um, once it's well placed you can let, let me just um, increase this. Let me just increase this. Good. So then um, have something like this. Have something like this. Okay. So we have this. Okay. So you can see this because I activated shadow effect here. Um, the size here has to do with um the the width of the stroke you want. You know the normal. Um, stroke effect would be uh, to you know stroke effect um, enable the stroke width so the size of this circle now is the stroke width so it doesn't have to be this big doesn't have to be all uh, in small or whatever um, if it's like this maybe this is the, the, the shape of what you're adding the stroke to the sorry the size of the circle or image 
um, you are adding the structure, then you, you, you know the kind of, you know the size of circle you have to click here so you get it right. So it doesn't have to be this big, depends on what the kind of stroke effect that is required or you want to create. So uh, having said that, um, just this last point, let me add this. So let's say you want to add a, uh, um, 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 shadow effect. Now, don't do this. Don't, uh, don't, don't enable shadow effect in, uh, in this photo. In the photo, yeah, because you, you see, it's not gonna look nice. Um, you know, remember, you can do use offset this and that, but don't do, don't do, don't enable shadow effect in this photo. Rather, um, to achieve because I'm trying to help you um show you how you can achieve the same thing if you are doing it here you know you know um okay let me turn this off now let's say we are adding shadow effect now to this photo to this photo and first of all give it the stroke so um now I want to add shadow effect now you see this is way it's gonna look like so we want to it's, it's not gonna show on that white part it's not gonna touch the white part the stroke now that's stroke effect now you don't want to touch there so that's exactly what we want to do so that's why i said you won't touch the photo what you should do now is um is a circle you're going to enable the, sh the um shadow effect and so you enable the shadow effect here the circle for what i do uh i i i, I take this stuff here i do play with it and to create the the what i want to let me say i do something like this of course you can also touch this offset you know create what you want to create is you get amazing result with that so that's that if you find this helpful kindly um like the video and subscribe and um you can as well leave a comment just add um whatever you need help in and any um pixel you know i'm teaching you how to use pixel lab so uh, uh, any questions you have on pixel lab you can drop it here all right do have a best day